All right. Can you guys hear me? All right. I uh, forgot to hit the, uh, the mute button there for a second. Um, so I was kind of racking my brain today uh, on what it was I was actually going to tattoo. I've been working on a lot of things, but um, they are a little bit uh, probably too progressive uh, in nature for my skill set right now. Um, it's one thing to put things down on paper. It's another thing to, you know, uh, jab a thousand needles in your leg and, um, <laughs> and, and try to keep things straight. Uh, also, you know, with a, a light and a camera in your face and, uh, and, you know, you ink being injected under your skin. So, um, one of the things, uh, that I did talk about, um, a couple of times now is applying a, a stencil. So even though I, I have to stand up um, and actually go and view this and, and kind of in front of a mirror, actually, uh, yeah, I do because this one is direction oriented. So I will have to, you know, kind of kind of try to stand up and, and configure things um, as best I can. But I, I wanted to go through uh, kind of the process and, and what it is that it looks like whenever you're creating one of these things. Because if you go to a professional, which you definitely should, um, unless you are a professional and you still have some skin left that you haven't tattooed, um, you know, you, you probably are going to see some of these things uh, as they work out designs with you. You're going to come in and you're going to say something along the lines of, well, you know, this is my first tattoo and I want a dragon wrapped around my ankle, crawling up, busting through my knee, uh, entering into my, my spleen and popping out the back of my shoulder and biting me on the chest. And they're going to say, yeah, that sounds really cool. Uh, how about we kind of work through that design a little bit? And you're going to end up with a much smaller uh, dragon somewhere else, um, you know, just so that, you know, don't don't think that they don't want to do that work. That I'm sure that they do, especially if they're getting paid by the hour, because um, they'll be able to buy a small car uh, by the time that they're done with you. But um, really what, what they're going to do is they're going to try to get you, you know, that first tattoo to be as great as it possibly can, the experience as good as, as you can possibly have. And, uh, and then, you know, in, in, in a place that you're not going to regret having it while also testing your pain tolerance and your ability to sit still for a couple minutes or a couple hours. So, um, so likely what is going to happen is they're going to sketch something out, uh, really loose, um, there's a lot of, a, a lot of people in the world that are great artists and can give you like comic book, you know, uh, detail, um, faces, gestures, motion, um, and they can give it to you really quick. Uh, and then there's people like me who sketch, 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 erase, 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 sketch, sketch, sketch. So if I was sketching an idea for someone, I'm going to do it really loose because you're not necessarily paying me, uh, well, no one's paying me right now, but, <laughs> but you're not, you, you know, if I was a tattoo artist, uh, professionally, then you, you know, you wouldn't be paying me to sketch something that you don't agree with. So it, they, they work quick, they work fast. They try to fit in everything they possibly can to your, your ideas, um, while also, you know, making sure that everything is correct. Uh, for example, I'm sure a lot of people have seen, you know, the, uh, the tattoos of the sailboats, you know, like uh, the old school sailor tattoos, and there's wind rushing in, you know, to the, the sails, and you look up and everything looks fine on the tattoo, except you notice that the, the directional flags are actually faced backwards, like they're racing, you know, forward. Um, but in the wind, those directional flags would actually be facing the opposite way uh, that the sails are billowed. So um, tattoo artists, you know, they study imagery, they study the meaning behind things, and they especially study, um, you know, what came before them so that they can, you know, continue to, uh, to grow their own art. So, um, so if you come at them with an idea and you say, this is how I want it to look, uh, this is how I want it to be, they're going to work with you. Uh, and one of the tools that they're going to use after they end up sketch, sketch, sketching is, you know, they're going to put a little extra refinement on it and they're going to come out. Uh, and, uh, I think, yeah, I do have my, my light on. So let's, let's hope that we can, we can actually get this right. Okay. So what they're going to come at you with is, uh, is something like this. And what this is, is this is, uh, 
thermographic transfer paper. So some some folks they actually you know they have a, a printer that allows them to to print um, you know uh, like a laser printer almost uh, where you run this paper through and it will actually print the design on there. So they can sketch, they can scan. Uh, they can put it into, you know, the system or whatever and print it out and boom, like you've got like a great, a great thing. I don't have that because, I mean, I'm a hobbyist uh, for one. I'm doing this to myself. And while I do love perfection, like perfection is, you know, that's, that's great. That's the ultimate achievement, right? But um, I have to do as good as I can with these things and, uh, and my own, my own sketches. So, um, as you can see, I, I put a, <laughs> I put a, uh, yeah, <laughs> goopy Palmer said, uh, it's a freaking laser. It, I, you know what it might be, you know, I mean, I can't imagine putting my, my leg underneath a, like one of those laser engraving things, but I imagine it feels the same except hotter. Um, yeah. So what I have here is, uh, you know, something that I've already, already uh, cut out and, and I'm going to show you why I cut it out this particular way to make this stencil. Uh, so you have your top sheet. Um, this is really thin and it allows you to trace from a source. So I do have my sketchbook. Uh, you know, I sketched out something that was really highly detailed, um, but I'm not going to be doing the details uh, today. Um, most likely uh, as far as far as I'll get is the outline and maybe a little bit of shading possibly. Um, but uh, underneath that, you have an even thinner piece of paper, right? So once you have traced what it is that you want, you remove that from, you know, from the way, and then you go over this again with, you know, like a scribe or, you know, a ballpoint pen. I use the ugliest, cheapest, nastiest ballpoint pen because I love like the really fine uh, <laughs> I love the really fine, uh, tips and, and being able to draw like high details and stuff. But for something like this, where I'm needing to press down and get all of that stuff on there, um, I'll use a ballpoint pen so that I, I do get, you know, some lines pressing through. So once you have done that, then you come over here and it will pretty much look like there's nothing on this sheet of paper, like pretty much, you know, nothing at all. But once you lift off, then you'll see that there's part of this uh, thermographic film here that's missing. And it just happens to be on the back of this piece right here that I've cut out. Um, and then the yellow piece right here is really meant to uh, something, something important. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. Uh, these two on my chat are going to be an absolute uh, great addition to uh, to this episode. <laughs> and I love the fact that I'm actually being able to uh, to record uh, not just uh, not just me bantering this time, but also I've got my chat window up. So uh, guys, like you know, feel free um, to to chime in, uh, say pretty much anything, and whatever that emoji is of. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so something important with this yellow paper. No, it's not. You just toss it out. So I wanted to show you guys that. Um, the next thing I do is <laughs> redacted. The next thing I do is uh, I actually take a really highly sophisticated substance that was meant especially for this particular purpose. Um, and I, after I shave that part, remember, always shave, even if you, you know, uh, like, you know, totally like me, I shave my leg every day. Oh yeah. Yeah. The ballpoint pen. Did you want to see the ballpoint pen? I'm not going to show you the ballpoint pen. Um, cause I don't, it's probably in another room right now. Uh, but yeah, that ballpoint pen, I don't use that to shave with. And I don't draw with the ballpoint pen on my leg either. I use something again, very sophisticated meant specifically for this. Actually, I've, <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't even want to say where I got this fun hint. That's right. I'm not getting paid for this, but I'm going to throw this out there. Your leg is going to smell wonderful. All right. So this is just standard speed stick. Um, cool thing about the, uh, 
the you know about about that particular product. One, uh, some of the other products are a lot more expensive. Um, I, I, there's like stencil goo and like I don't know. There's like a whole bunch of them. Um, they're a lot more expensive. They do work a lot better. But I found that you know pretty much the best thing uh, is you know you apply and you put the lid on. You can pretty much store it anywhere and if you're, you know, sweaty and nervous, like, you know, like I get sometimes, then you could just, but don't do that. And then use that same thing. Right. <laughs> you don't want to smell this. Um, yeah, but you don't, you don't do that and then use, you know, under the arm and then use it on your leg. Because again, um, I'm trying to be extremely hygienic and I would suggest that if anyone is crazy enough to take, you know, their tips from, uh, someone like me on tattooing themselves, um, then, you know, you want to be hygienic as well. Yes, exactly. If you start poking, uh, you know, armpit debris and, and whatever little tiny microscopic creatures, bacteria and whatnot on your skin, and you start poking that in there, yeah, I mean, you can totally, you could totally get an infection. Um, and, uh, at, you know, Maybe not, but I'm not going to chance that, right? Like, uh, also, if you go to a place uh, and you're going to get a tattoo, you're get, you know, you're getting the stencil. While we're doing that, actually, um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to apply this. I say always stand up, go in front of a mirror, um, and uh, and put this on because otherwise, you can see some of these things look a little bit wonky. They look a little bit. But whenever I stand up, they're actually fairly straight because I did them in front of a mirror. Um, what <laughs> what I'm going to do now uh, is actually kind of go against that. Uh, I'm going to back off of that because I don't want to stand up, walk away, you know, be shouting from another room. Hey, guys, you know, like um, so I'm going to try to get this as straight as I can. And I'm putting this on here and then I'm going to I'm gonna chat just a little while longer. And I'm going to tell you why. So. Uh, Let's see, maybe like, eh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it about like that. Okay. Now what, what you can see is I actually did not apply enough towards the top. See how everything's kind of, like that design starts to kind of pop out a little bit. Here, let me block that. So where you couldn't even see it on the paper before, now, you know, now it's like, it's like you put it on wet skin. So, and I guess it is kind of wet, right? Um, because it is speed stick. It's kind of gooey or whatever. So I'm going to give it a good press, press, press. And then we'll just lift this right on off. There you go. So get a little bit, try to control that light a little bit. So now you can see I've got like a fairly uh, semi-permanent, like this thing will stay on there. If you let, if you let this thing dry and you don't touch it, you don't, you know, tattoo on it, you know, you just want to try out a design or something, uh, you know, like one of your buddies drew something really cool and you know, you actually convince your, your tattoo artist, Hey, you know, what would be awesome is, you know, my buddy's design, they can, they can actually, I mean, if you, if you really ask them nicely, uh, you can ask them to, you know, allow, I'm going to fan that a little bit. Uh, you can, you, you know, I'll ask, ask them to allow you to, to put it on a stencil, drop it on there, you know, walk around with it for a couple of days. I, I guarantee once this dries, if you don't touch it, if you don't mess with it for like, well, until it's dry, it's going to stay there for uh, a couple of days and it it'll get fainter. But um, the longer you let that, you know, that that stencil dry, the, the longer it's going to stay. Um, so I, I said yesterday, uh, you know, it's a it's a good idea to allow it to dry for about 10 minutes um, at least. Uh, I mean, I'm doing a lot of things on this particular episode that I probably shouldn't do. Um, like not put it on standing up. Uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, and also I'm going to be using, uh, some different needles, um, which 
I'm kind of excited about, but at the same time, like I do have some level of detail here. So yeah, so I don't know, hopefully I can get it to dry, uh, and, uh, and we'll dig on in there. Um, again, you know, there are some little bits of detail on here, right? Uh, little tiny drops off to the side that has this, this liquid is kind of pouring out of the, the heart, you know, uh, I, I like to call it love, but due to its placement, uh, we'll be coloring it red. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be blood. Um, so don't, don't think anything different. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not on some, some parts, whenever you cut the stencil paper, or if you're really up close to the edge, like I was like, it'll leave a, uh, it'll actually leave like a square or, you know, a couple of lines around the, uh, around the design itself. Um, that said, like, you know, I was just testing on that, that was left behind, uh, that little residual line or whatever to see, uh, how far along the stencil is. I really just wanted to be able to show this process. I, I won't likely, I will not be doing this process again. So, um, if you have any questions about how the, the stencils work or anything like that, um, feel free to, you know, bring those up, watch this again. Um, I do record these, I throw them on, uh, I throw them on YouTube so you can leave comments on there. Uh, I'll respond to them, uh, as, as I can and, uh, and go over it a little bit more if there's something that, you know, uh, that I wasn't clear about. So let's see, we're just going to kind of. Oh, yep. That is really wet. Whew, man, that is a shame here. Let me see. Maybe this is a bad idea, man. I'm filled with them tonight. Maybe just maybe we can get a little bit of that, that up so that we can, we can start the magics. <laughs> All right. So generally I've, you know, I've gone over a couple of other things through throughout, uh, showed how I lay out my ink, uh, got little top hats that I, I put my ink in. Um, right now, the only color I have or the only color, yeah, come on over, come on over and do that. Uh, totally invited. You know, you know where I am. Um, but <laughs> busy. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. So I've, uh, yeah. Anyway, top hats, right? So, uh, I would normally, I would lay those out with any other colors that I'm using right now. All, I'm, all I've got is black. That's, you know, I mean, I do have some other colors. I'm not brave enough to start shading just yet or coloring just yet, but this piece, uh, this will have color. Um, the areas, uh, that, that liquid, that flowing, motion, whatever that, that will have, have some color. And I will be adding some, uh, some lines in here with a finer, uh, liner once I, once I have one, um, whenever I initially ordered my, my, uh, my tattoo machine, uh, power supply, all this stuff, I won't say that I went cheap. I went budget, right? Like there's only so much that you can, that you can say, you know, that you're going to invest in something if you don't know the first time there's my stupid cat get out of here you're gonna you're gonna hurt me go on get so <laughs> keep them away um but yeah so you know i didn't want to invest a whole lot and then be like turn it on and be like Meh. okay nope i'm done hurt too much whatever i'm not you know so so i went budget i you know something i can grow with uh i can learn the machine can't so it's good to have a decent a decent machine, um, decent, uh, power supply, um, decent equipment all around. Right. Um, but, uh, at that, that same time, you know, uh, I also didn't know what the needles and the ne needle numbering and all that stuff was. So I just got like, a, a random assortment, um, you know, like a couple of trial boxes from the manufacturer of the, uh, the tattoo machine itself. Um, so they sent, you know, a couple of liners, 
um, both really fine. Uh, so that was <laughs> my first. I actually tried to fill this guy in with a very fine liner, which is really dumb. Um, and, and the same thing with this bold outline. Like I tried to do that with a fine liner, uh, which was uh, why it looks all sketchy. Um, and then they sent like two color packers and a shader needle, like our cartridge. So uh, I'm waiting, you know, uh, for another another order to come in from from a different um, different seller uh, of some, you know, some some liners. Um, I do have one left. Um, it's kind of like, you know, if you only have one of something, you want to hold on to it tight, especially since today is uh, only Tuesday and I plan on doing something every day. So I heard, and I've mentioned this, I've heard that I can use uh, a round shader for punchier lines. Now, the difference between a shader and a liner is, um, these numbers that are that are actually on the back to describe what it is, uh, you know, this says 12.7 RS. So it's you know a 12 size needle, um, seven of them. So in the in the grouping, and then round shader, right? So I've actually used a 12.07 round liner uh, on I believe the matchstick, right? And uh, and, you know, it still looks really fine, but I have a feeling that this is going to be punchier because the way that the needles work, the needle groupings is on a liner. They all come down to a point. There's more, there's more needles there in that grouping, right? Whoop. There's more needles there in that grouping and it helps carry the ink and it helps carry more ink down below the, uh, the surface of the skin on a shader. They're actually spread out. Right. They're not like flayed out. Right. But they're they're, you know, straightforward. And all the space in between there um, is now it it you know, it, it now they all those needles are going in like and leaving all that space between. <laughs> so even though it's not a huge amount of space between there, um, you know, it if you hold up a round shader next to a round liner of the same size, that round liner at the, the core, you know, at the bar part before the needles begin, uh, same size, you know, and then all of a sudden you're like, what, what is that? Like, it's like a tiny, I'm, I'm afraid it's like a tiny alien tongue, like just sharp and kind of scary, kind of scary looking. So I have decided that what I'm going to do is actually give this a try. Uh, you saw this was uh, this was wrapped. I did show you this. Um, it's not very important to you because if I get a leg infection, you don't have a leg infection. Just me. All right. So let's see. I don't know if I can really show you uh, what this looks like here. But, I mean... It, to me, it just looks like a bunch of tiny points. And that's about how far out that thing's going to throw, too. It's going to come out pretty far. So uh, I am not imagining that this is going to feel good. Um, the other ones didn't feel great either. <laughs> yeah, no, it, yeah. Um, the other ones don't feel great either, but... Uh, it, they're not, they're not going to be like this. This is, this is a, like a, a whole square block of, you know, needles that are all going to be jamming into me. Yeah. That's what I said. It looks just like the, that mouth, that second mouth. Like it's, it's crazy. Like it's, oh, I'm, I'm worried. I'm kind of scared. Um, but that's not going to stop me. What's, what's a little pain. If I stop, like if this goes to the uh, going live soon, yeah, yeah, yeah. If this if this goes to the going live soon, it's because I've gone to the bathroom to cry, um, because it's gonna hurt. All right, again, uh, to cover up the uh, <laughs> cover up the uh, 
cover up the uh, the the logo there of the manufacturer, uh, showing you this isn't a bag. I, I'm showing you, you know, I've come at, come at you in the past and said, you know, hey, I am showing you that I'm doing all this as clean as I possibly can and all that. And so yes, um, <laughs> please do. I'm recording it too, so you can totally have uh, the video uh, whenever I'm done with it. Um, but uh, but yeah. Uh, it's also like the other reason I'm showing this is because you can see here, this, uh, this bar, this thing spins around and normally, uh, due to the type of, you know, uh, little electric motor that's in here, it's pretty quiet. You it might be like, hum, right. But like with this bag on there, sometimes that thing starts slapping around on there and like moving around. It's like, <sighs> so if it gets a little loud, a little annoying, um, by all means, you know, like just ignore that and continue to listen to me. I'm turning on my power supply now. Uh, I am actually going to crank this thing up because I do not want this moving all slow on my skin too much. So I say crank it up. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to turn it to like maybe 8.3. So it'll move a little bit faster. I do have the throw set out on this thing pretty far, uh, four and a half. Um, for how far this the this travels, um, and that that should push this out maybe three and a half millimeters, um, and I'm going to try to do this straight up and down as much as possible, good ninety to seventy five degree angle somewhere somewhere you know in this range. So I might cover up while I'm doing it. Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, but I really, and this might be my first time having a blowout, um, which I explained blowout is basically where, you know, any type of line work coloration, anything like that goes too deep and the ink goes, you know, into the fatty layer of the skin. It starts to look like a bruise, a permanent bruise really, or the lines look fuzzy as in the case of why people don't normally use shaders because this could end up looking really bad. Um, but, you know, I'm going to try it because I have boxes of these things. I'm waiting for something else to come in. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So first thing I do is I take some of this, this lovely stuff here. And I'm going to gently apply it so that I don't completely wipe the stencil away. See, it's already moving. I think I applied too much of the speed stick this time. Normally I don't. And I apologize if I sniffle a lot, kind of. Got a little bit of a runny nose. No big deal. It's just COVID. No, it's really not. Oh, that sounds crazy loud. That needle sounds much different than the last one. I wonder what's going on with that. Hold up. Let's see. Try to... Trying to adjust this to see if I can get a little bit more throw out of it. That sounds a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Whew. I was going to say, that sounded like a weed eater. I do not want to be sticking that in my skin. What I'm doing right now is actually adjusting this to where I get I get enough of the needle that to me it looks approximately I don't you probably can't see it it's moving way too fast but it looks approximately like a uh, like a mechanical pencil lead. There we go. Now you can see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this thing up. Just get a, one more good turn on that. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to load it up with ink. Uh, try to keep this plastic off of that bar. I'm going to load it up with ink. Now, the tip of this is clear. So whenever I load it up with ink, what should happen... Gosh, I hope this stencil doesn't come off because I'm not trying to freehand tonight. What should happen is uh, that ink will actually become visible in there. Uh, I am totally stalling for time because I do not want to. I do not want to do this. Here we go. All right. 
Real shit. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to switch views a little bit here. Let's see if we can, uh, maybe we can get, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Okay. Oh, 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 oh crap. Oh, crap. I'm going to do probably the hardest line first. So let's stretch that out. Bring this one down. Lift up. Move my hand a little bit. See what that line looks like. Kind of fat. That's fine. That's what we're going for, right? Big, fat, juicy, crazy line. All right. Now, I apologize if I don't uh, look up a little bit more. <laughs> I'm trying, uh, trying really hard not to. Uh, not to mess this up too, too much. Actually, we're going to push this line instead of pull it, because I can kind of see. Ooh, not good. There we go. I know, like, ooh, it's not good. Is like, no, it, did, it didn't do that. It just, like, because of the, uh, this doesn't really have a lot of throw. This I'm not used to this, this needle brand, and... Uh, I did set this up the same way that I set up the other ones, but this, uh, I actually kind of rode the tube there. What I mean by that is I actually pushed that needle in far enough to where the tube hit the skin. And, uh, whenever it did that, it just shot ink out. So, uh, so it kind of surprised me a little bit. Do that again. Let's do the push. This way. Oh man. There we go. I feel like I'm just I feel like I'm making so many bad choices with this one today. And that's okay. It's only it's only permanent, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stare at you. No, um, not going to do that. Let's go ahead and load this thing back up. And see how do we want to do this. Let's go ahead and grab here. And we're going to wrap this around this way, this way, this way, and stop. Um, this way. I feel like I'm really having to, I'm gonna have to do something, readjust this somehow, because this is, this is horrible. Look how much ink is on my skin, that's terrible. I should not have that much ink on my skin. That ink should be in me, not, not on me. So... Go ahead and load back up. It's got plenty in there, but you know. So this is what I'm worried about. Like I have some really detailed lines in there, some some detail like you know, kind of liquidy look, kind of pull. Um, and I think it's going to be lost. Jeez, uh, it's going to be lost on this on this particular design. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't go for, you know, one of the more ambitious designs that I had chosen before. Let me go ahead and wipe that. Oh, that's a mess, man. All right. I'm going to lay this down. The, the tattooing is not a mess. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. Uh, it's actually, it's the ink uh, and not being able to fully... Not really having the throw that I want on that. Not sure how I feel about that.
Actually, I'm going to come on back in this part. And I'm going to wrap this around. So I'm purposefully doing a little shake there, hoping that even with this larger needle grouping, it's, you know, it's not that smooth line. Did I get that? Hard, hard to tell. I'm going to go ahead and fold this part in. That'd be good. Okay. Hey, Goofy, uh, Goofy Pal Palmers, uh, this is definitely not the episode that I would want your uh, your friend to be watching. Um, I would love to, you know, have, would love to have her on the, on the show. Uh, I'd love to hear, you know, I'd love to, like, completely ignore her professional uh, opinion, but have her give it, if that makes sense. I'd love to hear what, man, I'd love to hear what she had to say. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hear what she had to say. I would love everyone else, uh, you know, hear what she had to say as she's, you know, going into this professionally. And, uh, you know, I could pick up some, some pointers, you know, that would be great, but everyone else would be able to learn something as well. Yeah, exactly. I feel like there are lessons learned in every episode. And this one is, I don't do so well with big fat giant lines on tiny little dainty details. So lesson, lesson learned. Okay, uh, dabbing away. Not, not, not as the kids do, but as the ink do. So I did. Uh, I was kind of. I won't say that I went back and and watched my own video. That sounds like you know some kind of vanity issue. Um, but I do remember saying something, uh, one of the, one of, one of the episodes back about, uh, about trying to, you know, get all these things right and trying to get everything perfect and all that stuff. And, uh, maybe one day, whenever... Oh, I'm going to have to go over this. I'm going to have to go over this again. Oh, you said she's just starting too. Yeah, but okay. So learning the more traditional way from what I understand, like it has its pluses and minuses, you know, um, the, the positive thing is, is that you, you know, one, you're not going to have a cat, like what's behind me. You're not going to have this going on. <laughs> I would love that. That'd be awesome. She'd do like, uh, you know, uh, the statue of David. Um, I would do a giant stick figure. It'd be great. It'd be great. Um, but yeah, that, that traditional way is, it, it is the way to go. It really, I mean, my understanding is, you know, people, people that go through that, they, they definitely learn the ins and outs of the business, you know? Like they, they know, they know, uh, the best way, or at least their shop's way of doing hygiene. They know their shop's way of organizing. They know their shop's way of doing like all those things. And, and their shop's way is tried and true. The people that work in that shop went through the same thing. So, I mean, some of the stuff that they have, you know, with exception to some of the equipment or, uh, you know, some of the newer, newer inks or, or whatever, um, that stuff could have been passed down for like 60 years, you know, like, it, you know, there could have been some, some guy. Yeah. The traditional way is it, it could be entertaining enough. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean that, that information could be passed down, you know, for generations. And, uh, and so you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose that experience. Now, the problem is, is that, 
for, you know, for a lot of people, um, they went through something and being in the military, you know, some of the worst things, the worst words that you can hear someone say is, uh, this is the way we've always done it. Right. Like that leaves zero room for growth. It leaves zero room for ingenuity. Um, your problem solving skills go to crap. Uh, and you're just expected to do it the way that it's always been done. And that turns real quickly into abuse and, and hazing, you know, like suddenly, you know, you're, yeah, you're, a uh, an apprentice at a tattoo shop and probably, you know, one of the good ones, right? Um, sure. You might, you might do that, but you might be, you know, getting people's laundry uh, I heard some, you know, I heard one guy say that he had to deliver the boss's wife flowers. Um, he had to open the door at the boss's house to allow, you know, a repairman to come in who was working on, um, uh, a water main, a broken water main, you know, like deliver pizzas, buy pizzas, you know, some people even pay for their, their apprenticeships. Like some shops, you know, they're, they have the name, uh, of the, the community and, and they're highly professional and they don't want to put out, you know, trash. So they take it as another school. There's actually, I've looked this up. There's actually two schools or three schools that are approved by the VA, three tattoo shops that are approved by the VA to take VA funds for education so that you can get an education at those, those shops. Um, there used to be five. I don't know why there's not still five, but, but seriously, like, I mean, some people, you know, they say this is an education. You would pay for a college degree. You're going to pay for this. Right. So these are all like, you know, you're looking at at worst case scenario, you're paying to be hazed. Best case scenario, you actually get like, you know, some really good time in to work with people and do something, you know, learn how to do a craft that, uh, that's pretty much timeless and, and will, you know, definitely, definitely influence, uh, you, you know, the people around you, um, you're making a permanent, you're making a permanent art piece, uh, that's not even in a gallery, you know, it's not, it's not going to be destroyed in a fire, uh, hopefully, um, knock on wood. Um, so, I mean that, but your best case scenario is pretty uh, <laughs> I, I, my understanding is that's pretty rare. So, um, and my thinking is, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this like to anyone else, right? Like this is just right now, this is just me. My plans are, you know, I'm, I'm doing this for a certain amount of, uh, therapy. I'm doing it for a certain amount of, uh, you know, just, internal, like little, little introspection, if you will. So that, you know, that being said, yeah, yet <laughs> I like that. Hopefully, you know, one day, like I'll make up my mind what I want to be whenever I grow up. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you, you know, I mean, there, there are, you know, this is, this is a way of, of getting to that point. Like, you know, you, you practice on yourself, you practice on, uh, you know, fake skin, um, heaven forbid, like you decide to make the plunge and, and, you know, like tattoo on somebody else. Um, that's, that's risky. You know, like you see, I'm, I'm in my own house. Like I clean the floors today. I, I dusted everything. I still have plastic wrap on everything, man. Like, uh, my desk, my chair, um, everything's bagged up as if I was doing this for real, you know? So, you know, it, it's, it's a risk to, to do this to someone else and not, not just for them. It's, it's a risk for me too, you know? Yeah. Clean, cleaning, <laughs> cleaning is another military disorder. <laughs> uh, they call it in my case, OCPD. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if it's a disorder or not. I don't do it nearly as much as what it should be done. And I'm sure that my beautiful wife can attest that I probably say more about 
how clean I like things to be and less actually cleaning things. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of all, all bluff on that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going back in and putting some hard shading in this. I figured since I'm actually using uh, a shader, I might as well try to try to shade with it. Um, and I would have loved to have gone over these some of these lines like in one pass. It's always the goal of perfection at the first try. Uh, that just didn't happen. Um, yeah, so I'm going to click this. Uh, oh my gosh, that is so much quieter. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually going to try something else kind of new. Um, I've only done it once. I, I did some smoke, some shading on some smoke here. And kind of like happy little accident, you know, it turned out, it turned out okay. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case every time that I do it, especially since I don't really know. Uh, what it is that I'm doing with this, but um, I'm going to go ahead and switch needles. This guy, this, check, check that out. Wow. Like this thing is really going to be fun. So this is a uh, uh, same size needle um, that I, I had before. I know it doesn't look like it, but the, it's the same size needles. Um, and, uh, they're actually just configured in a different way to uh, to be a round, uh, round, almost like a. It's, it should not be a blade. I I would not tattoo you know um, side to side with this, or else you know I'm, I'm it's a serrated it's a serrated knife at that point. But um, yeah, you say damn, but you, you're the one that's that told me today that you wanted color. This is how you get it, right? Whenever you go in and ask somebody to give you massive amounts of black or color like this is what they're going to use or they'll even use one that looks scarier where it's like two of these stacked on top of one another and it just packs the the ink in uh under under the skin um so it's i i'll say this though i'm i'm not gonna leave the surprise uh i'm not gonna leave you up in the air making you think that you know uh that this is a terrible thing this actually is a lot less painful than the uh than the liner um mostly because at least for for the purposes that i'm i'm gonna have yeah you shouldn't be scared man like it's really it's not that bad so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm actually i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up uh, my sorry i have to pop off the camera quick and this is not sterile again this is one of those things like hey you know shouldn't be doing this or whatever but um I'm going to go to, so this is, this is my reference Ooh, right there. So that darker part, I'm not going to be packing that in today because that's going to be, that's going to be red whenever I get the color red, but there is some shading that is around these areas. Ah, oof, there we go. Uh, kind of, it's barely visible on here and it'll probably be very <laughs> barely visible on there. Um, but uh, there's a little shading around the sides just to give a little dimension. Um, I found out that there's this really old school way of doing shading that's called whip shading. And apparently like people think that it's, uh, it's one of the more attractive uh, ways of, of shading. I accidentally did it on part of the smoke uh, on, on the matchstick tattoo. Um, and I thought, wow, you know, I messed up or whatever, but apparently people, they, you know, they really, uh, really dig that. Um, I'm, if, if that happens again, Hey, happy accidents. Right. But I'm, I'm not counting on that. So, uh, I like, yeah, let me, let me check out my reference and then I put it away. Um, so I'm actually, hopefully that's, I want you guys to have to, to look at my intent and <laughs> what actually happened because they're probably going to be two different things. Um, so yeah, so I got that bad boy loaded up. Ooh, ooh. Um, th this, uh, particular cartridge has a, um, I'm not going to say, say the name. You, you could probably look it up just by the, uh, the cartridge, uh, or the brand. I won't say the brand, but I'll say the name. It's called blood. It's scary as hell, man. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it at the same settings. 
Um, and you can see on this particular needle, like that thing, uh, where is it? Let me show it. Like it's really throwing out on that. So I don't know. Apparently the other cartridges just don't work quite as well. I'm going to turn this off. I'm, I think I'm going to adjust this a little bit because I really don't want that much of that going into my skin. Like, that's not fun, right? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to die. All right, let me see. That's better. That's a little bit better. It's a little better. All right, so there we go. All right. So we'll load this up with ink. One thing I don't particularly like about this cartridge is I, the other one was clear. I could see the ink. Uh, this one is solid red. It's a little bit more difficult to see that I have ink in there and it's really messy. So you're going to see this like pouring out, um, pouring out ink as I, as I do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in on this side and just kind of push forward, pull back, push forward, pull back, push forward, just like that. Just kind of trying to follow the lines a little bit. I feel like it's already dumped all the ink out and now I'm just doing like blood lines. It's going to Mm, definitely do a little bit better. Uh, grabbing a uh, another paper towel. That one's nasty. Used it for like everything. I feel like. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit. Why? See, again, like I can't, I can't tell how much ink. <laughs> cartridge actually has so I just ran that over there for no good reason there we go and then I'm going to come back down to this area I'm going to run it again okay fold this up ah, I'm bleeding no not yet All right, and then since it's round, I should have a little bit extra control and just very lightly coming into that first line and kind of painting it out. Definitely not packing the color in there. Um, A little bit more. I think I used too too small of a uh, ink top hat for this big giant beast. So I'm gonna come back in a little bit closer. Kind of trying to get a little bit of a fade happening here around the right around the so it doesn't look so abrupt. And unfortunately, I'm not not as strong at uh, like needle control as what I would like to be. So you can see like it dumped out like a, yeah, I, I, it, thanks for stopping in, uh, Goop Palmers. I appreciate it, man. Uh, showing some support. I'd, I'd blow a kiss your way. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can't actually kiss this, this glove. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, you know, it looks like I'm just pouring this ink on, man. Like, like, oh my gosh, look how much ink he's just throwing. Oh, that must hurt so bad. Um, no. And it's not just because I'm super 
awesome and strong. It's actually because, because that that's not true. It's actually because the uh, the way that the needle set up, it throws out, it just throws the ink out, right? Um, yeah, okay, all right. You can't really tell. We'll go back over it uh, once I once I'm done for the evening here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll go back and kind of kind of go over some of the the aspects. Oh, that just threw it out. I didn't even touch it to the skin. Some of the aspects of uh, you know how how color packing works. What the shading actually looks like. Well, no fear on uh, accidentally doing that whip shading. Uh, did not get that going on this time. I won't say this looks like a muddy mess. It doesn't. Uh, it's actually a couple of ha happy little accidents going on here. Um, the Bob Ross of, you know, first time tattooing or whatever. Um, Yeah, I'll tear this up if I keep going any further with some of these. I don't really want to turn my leg into hamburger meat just yet. All right, I'm trying to. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just didn't leave it, let this sit long enough. All right, but on the inside of here, what the heck, man, unwanted visitor. I've got open wounds. I don't need a cat here. Um, on the inside of this this opening uh, in the heart, it's actually I'm gonna have to pack some color in here. Because it's, you know, it's inside, right? Like, and inside there, man, that is just a wreck. We'll get this cleaned up. You'll be able to see it a little bit better. But it this is just being mean today. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure why. Alright. It looks that looks bad. Yeah, the upper thigh is an excellent place to start. Um, sorry, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. Let's see, where did I put it? Ah, yes. So this is this is kind of this is the fun part to me. This part right here, where you take this awesome water and you just kind of. So you can see like all that ink being poured in there and there's like really like, it's just really light shading. So I already see a couple of areas that I know I want to get a little bit farther on. Uh, I need to clean up just a little bit, but, um, but yeah, I mean, that's to me, that's not, you know, this is not a fail by any means. This is, uh, like Goofy Palmer said earlier, um, you know, and you know, you're, yeah, <laughs> right. It's, it's a pretty nasty prison. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go over this, a uh, couple of these little spots, uh, right around 
this part. Uh, the shading gets really light for no good reason. Uh, right around in here where uh, I tried to fill in with a hard, a hard shade. Um, uh, that didn't do too good. Uh, I think on the inside, I might go a little bit more. I did pack in some of the black uh, on that inside of the bowl. Um, but I think I'm going to go a little bit more with some shade uh, going off in that other direction. Now, I really feel, I feel bad about this. Like, I've never had to, like, reload. I even put, like, extra ink in here. Never had to reload a top hat. Um, but what ended up happening is I'm using a small, a small top hat for the, uh, for the ink. And I, I wasn't thinking, um, I just put a giant needle cartridge inside a very small top hat and, uh, and, you know, hit the edge of it. And so ink just kind of splattered everywhere. Uh, noob, noob mistake. If I was at a shop getting an apprenticeship, I would have known, hey, don't use that size. Somebody would have told me, or they wouldn't have, and I'd end up cleaning a lot more. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to wrap this up pretty soon. I know uh, know this one's been a little bit long. Um, I, you know, hopefully there's, I know I've learned a lot, but uh, but hopefully uh, everyone else has had kind of a, an opportunity to there we go. Oh, allergy. If I was like really safe, I'd be doing this with a mask on. So I didn't give myself a vid. That's still a thing. I feel like it's not. How do I want to approach that? Oh. Ah. oh no, did he mess it up? No, I did not, I assure you. Everything's fine. There's nothing to see here. All right. Uh, color path a little bit more in this area. And then less, less. And then I'm going to take advantage of the curve. Kind of come in here and just lightly get up to where that, that liquid's going to be colored uh, for the next time. All right. Now... Last thing, remember I said that there was a spot that I wasn't able to, that I didn't color in uh, with the round shader like I originally intended. Um, so let's get let's get to that. Let's see where where that where that is right now. More. My curious cat is back. Let's well, know what I'm spraying all over the floor. So. I don't know. I don't think disinfectant spray would really hurt a cat. Um, so we might find out. All right. Actually, it's still, I mean, it's really, it's not that bad. Like, I honestly, I, I think quite possibly this wasn't, this wasn't the, uh, the worst thing that I've done. So, all right. And going back with this, uh, super awesome, 
Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about these new needles. Uh, probably, I mean, I have a lot to burn through. I'm, don't, I'm not throwing them away, but I just feel like, man, that, that is just not it at all. Should not be wrestling that hard just to. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, it's a it's it's a new you know. This is one of those machines where it's like, oh, it's compatible, you know, it's compatible with most cartridges. Well, I, I think I found like one of them that it's not. All right, I hate this is the worst part, like having to go back over something again. Oh, hurts. That first pass, that perfection. That's what you always want. Did I get that? No. I've used all my I've used all my things on ink. I can't wipe my nose. So I'm gonna get a little close here, just kind of see. Cat's mad because it's time for him to eat. It's time for me to get inked, cat, so you're just going to have to wait. All right. I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I still did not get all the way up to where I wanted to. Oops. Ah, so I'm going to use this round shader and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to go back over this line a little bit on the inside. Um, hopefully what that does is it just kind of erases the fact my shading was like totally way off. Okay, it wasn't totally way off, but it was pretty far off. Jeez. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the... I have to use the deeper, uh, deeper top hats, guys. Just going over a little bit more, not to turn it into hamburger meat. It's such a big fear of mine, but uh, just to make sure that my lines are. clean as I can make them. I mean, unfortunately, with the size of this needle and uh, the cold that I, I have, <laughs> or that I'm getting, um, I feel like, quite possibly, uh, this is the best I'm going to be able to do for the evening. Um, now, the cool thing is, is, this is, you know, I did learn. I, I've learned quite a bit 
Um, some people, you know, some people would say, well, it's best to learn on, you know, something else besides yourself. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is just, this is my, this is my way of doing it, right? So let's see, we get a closer look there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that's not, that's not terrible. I mean, you know, from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. First time trying to shade something. So, uh, with, you know, besides the smoke from, from this other one over here. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, I am actually going to clean this up a little bit more, uh, not with ink, uh, but with, uh, <laughs> but you know, actually like soap water, you know, and, uh, and get that, get that going. Um, I'll talk about this probably the next time. This was the first one that I was really ashamed of. Uh, yeah, yeah. You see it showing off the first one. Yeah. It's, there's many things that you could say to describe it. I'm not going to say any of those things right now. Um, and then I don't know if you guys can see right up here. Um, I've got, I've got three marks. You can probably only see two of them. Um, but these are tallies for how many of the tattoos I've done. So I'll be like just tallying across as I go. Uh, I didn't put the one from yesterday on there, so I have to do that. Uh, I don't normally show that on camera. That's, that's, uh, that's between me and, and me. Uh, but you know, if you do look up and you know, you see, uh, ugly skeleton Bart Simpson with a giant ear. Um, and then up here you see some marks like you, you'll know what those marks are. And, you know, I'll quite possibly talk a little bit more about them, um, in the future, but yeah, that, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, you know, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad people showed up. Glad to see a couple of friends on here. Um, I hope that, uh, kept things, uh, somewhat entertaining, maybe a little educational. Um, and, uh, again, you know, Hey, you guys want a tattoo, go pay someone to do it. Um, or you can be crazy like me, but, uh, I don't suggest it. So, uh, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for showing up. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys, uh, tomorrow, uh, or tomorrow evening. All right. Later guys.